CEO of Pfizer says it will reopen its Rocky Mount plant and says today that the company will continue to pay employees during its closure. The warehouse section of the massive plant was destroyed by Wednesday's af Wednesday afternoon's tornado. Fortunately, none of the 3200 employees were hurt. Pfizer says the plant makes up 8% of all injectable anesthetic medicine that is used by hospitals in the U.S. CEO Albert Burla did not give a specific timeline on when the plant would be back open, other than to say it will take several weeks. He says before manufacturing can resume, power has to be restored and sterilization standards met. Borla added that all manufacturing supplies that were stored in the warehouse will need to be replaced. So um, that's why, as I said, our number number one priority is to ensure that we will minimize supply disruptions for these medicines because they are important and they save lives. So that's why <laughs> we are trying to do anything we can in our power to make things uh, come back to normality fast. And he says there currently is a six-week inventory in circulation of all medicines made at the Rocky Mount plant.